Okay, here we are back with the um, auxiliary air valve. Now, last time I had a hole that I had drilled in the top there. Basically, what I did was I just dropped, I found the first available screw that fit the hole, um, dropped a nut down in there, cut it down the size, and uh, sealed it up with a little bit of RTV. Um, I also put RTV around the edges right here. Since it is a press fit, most likely it won't need it. However, um, you know, I just like to be safe. So I decided to put that on there. Um, then we have the cup right here. Now it does have stains in it indicating um, how it originally came out. Um, you may want to try to line those up and get them in there as best you can because things do like to go together the way they came apart. So there's our uh, little assembly right there. Um, bring it over to the press. Now remember last time in the last video I told you you want to make sure that the the circle goes on the top um, the top port because the circle is actually higher than the slit so in this case slit on the right and um, circle on the left so bring the press up sorry bad camera shot because I don't have any helpers uh, let's see here okay so it dropped into place for the most part and then what we're going to want to do is line up, make sure everything is lined up and dress right dress, which in this case looks like we're pretty darn good. Um, get it on the press so that it'll do a nice even push down. And then press it down until it looks pretty much like it did when it came off. Okay, now... So this is exactly how it, it came apart. Um, if I had a flashlight, I would show you in there. Pretty much, um, you guys might not be able to see, but I can see straight through it right now, um, which is actually better than it was when I took it apart because it was uh, partially um, obstructing the hole because it was so filled up with, with, uh, with stuff. Um, now what, what I'm gonna do is once the RTV cures, I'm going to get, go and uh, boil a cup of water, put it in there, and this thing should now um, push the plunger all the way up to completely seal the tube and prevent any air from going through it. Uh, if it doesn't, then the next step is going to be to um, either push this further down until it does, or um, you can, uh, as a last resort, um, pinch this in some sort of a, a vise or pliers um, to actually push the plunger up um, making it so that when it is hot, it'll, it'll close all the way. So that's about it. All right.